From our North Idaho newsroom, when Margaret Coltis's home started to crack and the siding buckled, she didn't know what was going on. It turns out her home, built just eight years ago on Winterview Drive in Coeur d'Alene, is now sinking. KXY4's Annie Bishop live near that house tonight. Annie, what's going on? Well, it appears Coltis's home here was actually built on a construction dump site. She's had to hire crews over the past few weeks to dig holes like the one I'm standing in now uh, to fix the foundation. They've actually pulled out huge logs. We're talking a thousand pound logs out of holes like this. When those logs started to rot, this house here started to sink. It's been a nightmare for several years. It's easy to spot Margaret Coltis's home on Winterview Drive. Boxes of debris, logs, and animal bones line her driveway. Not sure what kind of animal bones, but they're bigger than a venison, probably an elk or maybe a cow or something. All of this junk was discovered under her foundation. In the past few years, Coltice's home has been sinking in some places as much as six inches. Inside, walls are cracked. At one point, she couldn't even close the doors. Um, I had bath towels and beach towels all rolled up around the north end of the house to keep the wind out this winter. In 2005, Coltis contacted the builder, Viking Construction, asking for the company to fix the problem. Viking sent her a letter accepting, quote, full responsibility for the structural problems, writing, we are going to correct the problem. A few months later, however, Viking's insurance company denied her claim, saying the company was not responsible for the damages. Right Tice hired an attorney All and is now suing Viking. All Viking, in turn, has filed a third-party complaint against the developer, Marco, who sold the company the land almost 10 years ago. In that lawsuit, Viking claims this lot, quote, contained inappropriate structural fill and was improperly compacted. Adding at the time the home was built, the debris wasn't discovered. I don't know what to believe. You know, you can only believe what people tell you. And I know people lie, so it makes me suspicious. But Kultais can't wait for the courts to decide who is responsible. She needs her home, and that means paying for the repairs herself. I want somebody to say, yes, we screwed up, I'm sorry, now we're going to reimburse you for what you've done, and we're going to help you get your house back into livable condition. That's what I want. And the city building department says when this home was built, it inspected the footings and the foundation and that everything was okay and that it didn't notice any soil problems. The city says it only does soil tests when homes are built on, hill are built on hillsides. We tried to contact Marco for a comment, but did not hear back as of news time. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4.